So Oprah helps in Maui. So the other day, Oprah was in my dream. So I was like, all right, let me look into Oprah. I was talking to one of my fellow TikTok friends who was telling me about Oprah's school, and I was telling her about my dream. So I noticed that Oprah's schools, they have these green outfits. So immediately I was thinking, that is like St. Patrick's Day, and I've been talking about Scottish Rite, the Irish, the Scottish people. So their outfits being green was interesting. So this is her school, and I did notice right here, I was like, oh, that looks familiar, the outline of her school. So this is St. Bridget, goes with Mama Bridget, the redhead Wendy's, you know, McDonald's. I've been talking about the redheads a lot. But the middle of her school looks like something they called St. Bridget's Cross from Ireland. And this right here is like, reminds me of that. Like that's the cross right there. So St. Patrick was supposed to be baptized St. Bridget. So when I think about school, I think about Uvalde. And I think about the green sneakers with the little um, heart, which reminds me of like Harley Quinn, the heart on her face. So this school's in South Africa. In South Africa, they had that um, whole street that like exploded because of gas explosion or something. But that's going on with South Africa. And I had a dream about Mandela the other day. So it's a lot of energy down there. So in Hawaii, they're having a fire and there's some old kings and queens from Hawaii, that reminds me of Christopher Hope and Lil Tay's father. See, like the energy right there. And Lil Tay was supposedly passed away, but she didn't pass away. It was a hoax, etc. But Queen Lily, like Lil Tay, Lil Tay. And that's the father of Lil Tay, Chris Hope. So very interesting, the energy that I'm getting from her, like that nose structure in Hawaii. Lots of energy in Hawaii. So pay attention because a lot of these energies are coming back. And it's creating like parallel universe, universes to like collide. So definitely pay attention to the energies of these people. When they give you a new cycle and it's very like everywhere, just they're trying to tell you about energies, okay? And this is her brother, her mom, etc. And this is like Lil Tay Lili from the Queen in Hawaii, who passed away November 11th. I'm doing a birthday decode for November 11th. I've dreamed with her before, so these people do talk when they pass away. There's a whole entire portal in your sleep. So John Owen Dominus, March 10th, which is the birthday of supposedly the chef of Obama that passed away in the paddleboarding accident, um, and he died August 27th, and the chef was supposedly born March 10th, and they were together, but that reminds me of like little Tay and her dad. Over here, he, they say he passed away August 23rd which is the day that Kobe passed away with Gigi Bryant, father and daughter. So August 23rd, father and daughter, remember that. Then you have father and daughter energy again, Lil Tay, Lili, you get what I'm saying? So when you learn your birthday decode, you start to see other codes and you start to decode other people, okay? So like the hope, that word's been coming up a lot. So when you see like Oprah's school and the energy, just know a lot of these things are all like ritual, spiritual, Energy connected to Scottish Rite. Um, when I've seen Oprah before and energy-wise, she's wearing like Dutch shoes, which is like Netherlands, which has to do with a lot of Epstein energy. So they do a lot of like neuroscience here or, or studying neurosequential models. So think about the brain and what they're doing. Um, maybe taking all the smartest kids in that South African place that are of melanated color and doing things with them. A lot of energy here. So just keep thinking, say Bridget, Mama Bridget, Scottish Rite Freemasonry. So when you go into these histories, Hawaiians, and how they got played by like the Europeans, a lot of them married into different European families, American families, just because they wanted to like, you know, do political things. But it ended up biting them in the butt later. So they're probably coming back for revenge at this point. But let's get into like the Alabama brawl and how I brought it up before when it came to Twitch Boss being from Alabama and having the same type of energy as Jamie Foxx with the December 13th portal. There's the Shipman family, okay? Prince Kaluli, these this family right here. These people be hanging out together. So one of the guys on the Alabama brawl, his last name was Shipman. So you always want to look at these people's pictures and their birthdays and their energies and their surnames. Because then you'll find out like Shipman right here, okay? Todd, like Sweeney Todd, or like um, Todd from like Abraham Lincoln's wife, last name is Todd. 
So you have a Todd here, and then you have a Robert, Alan Todd, Zachary Shipman. So sometimes spiritual warfare, these people come back and they're still like getting that energy between the Shipman family and these princes and princesses that were played back in Hawaii. You know, they they come back. They You know, her birthday is the same day as Neo, a.k.a. Keanu Reeves, which was in Matrix. Also, Keanu Reeves was in the movie with Sandra Bullock. And in the previous video, we talked about Sandra Bullock and about, like, Angus Cloud and the energy. So the Shipman family in Hawaii and the fire in Hawaii. You definitely want to go into that. And that brawl happened with boats, okay? And he threw his hat up in the air when um, they were about to start the brawl. Throwing your hat up in the air is like how it started with the graduations when you throw your cap up in the air. And that started with the Navy. So again, ship, shipping, astral realm, the water, the vessels. It's about like the mermaids. It's energy that travels through the water, which would be like through astral. So pay attention to the shipments and their birthdays and the energy around that. Because that's the guy from the bra and that's like the energy of the shipment family which is the energy that's connected to Hawaii, which Todd, this is like the red fox. So red fox and Todd. So you can press pause and read more about Todd and red fox. But it links to Abraham Lincoln, Mary Ann Todd Lincoln, see December 13. That is Jamie Fox. That is also Twitch Boss. So Twitch Boss passed away on this day. He was born September 29th. And this is Jamie Fox's birthday. So remember, I already told you about him, Nat Turner, 11-11, that whole energy. And that's why he's been coming up a lot. Because whenever they need to show you something, they show you his picture and what he said. They use this for their talking between each other on media so they can know the codes. But we know the codes too. So Red Fox, 111, Triple Goddess. That's why Triple Goddess St. Bridget energy. That's Goddess Right energy. So Red Fox, Todd, and the Red Fox. Cardi B's birthday is also 111. And remember, Jamie Foxx couldn't get into Cardi B's birthday. He got kicked, like, not let into the doors. There's the ritual around that. And you see, you know, right here, Todd, a.k.a. Red Fox, Scotland, Scotland, Ireland, a little bit of England, right? So Scottish Rite Freemasonry. All right, so these are connected. So pay attention. When you see faces, sometimes energies is involved with faces. Because of like surnames and family energies and ties. Like if you, you know, last names mean a lot. Somewhere down the line, you're connected. December 13th, December 13th. Remember, Twitch Fox, Alabama, Alabama bro Boat Bra. Then you had Emma Thomas, um, she Thompson, she plays Nanny McVee. Recently, um, Catherine McVee's Danny passed away. So April 15th, April um, 15th, he passed away. He was assassinated. So if you notice, they put out 541, which is 415, the day he passed away, Abraham Lincoln's energy. There's not, there's, TMZ don't make accidents, so they be posting times, which have to correlate also with portals. Or synchronicities, I mean, it's a crazy coincidence, but they're always syncing with something. So 514 is 415. Then you have the assassination of Fernando Valencia over in Ecuador. He was running for president. His birthday is 111, which is what I'm telling you about Red Fox, Cardi B, that triple goddess energy. They're trying to do something. Then he passed away August 9th, which is around the time they said that Lil Tay had passed away, but she didn't. Father and daughter energy, you know, August 23rd, Kobe Bryant energy, Gigi Bryant. So just remember this. They're trying to find this energy. See, Hopeless. And that's the middle name of Tay. Lil Tay's middle name is like Hope. Also, Catherine McPhee has, like, hope in her name. So when you see repeating patterns, they're trying to tell you something. They're trying to tell each other something, but we're figuring out the codes, too. So I do love to do the decodes because it's pretty fun. At this point, it's just like, wow, where have I been at my whole life? You know, all these codes, all these similarities between these energies. Sometimes energies come back and they come back next to other similar energies. They're, like, called familiar spirits. So familiar spirits. That Hawaiian fire. So even like Fran Dresser, she's the nanny. This is the nanny. The nanny passed away tragically. She, you know, they have a strike with the actors and the writers. 
because right now parallel universes these writers are probably having the best movies ever